Uh, are we back at the tournament arena? What's wrong with you? Vegeta! Vegeta, tell me it isn't true. You let Bobbity Spell take control of you, didn't you? Because doing something like this would make me fight you. It's true, isn't it? If I hadn't gone to these links, we wouldn't be about to fight. I had one day, one measly day in which to beat you, and I wasn't going to waste it standing around on that ship. That was your reasoning? You killed countless innocents to try and repair your meaningless pride? Meaningless? What do you know of meaningless? I don't give a damn about Majin Buu. All I want is my fight with Kakarot. Here and now, I will emerge as the victor once and for all. There's no reason he ever should have bested me. He and I are both Saiyans. But I was royalty among our people. I was a prince, yet he prevailed. He, he even had the impudence to save my life before. And that is an indignity I cannot bear. Bobbity, move us to some place where there's no one else around. <laughs> All right then, guess you can find somewhere else. <laughs> For you to... This might take longer than I thought. It'll be over soon enough when I kill you! Supreme Kai was saying. I already told you. The only thing that matters to me is this battle. Everyone else can die for all I care. You're lying. Deep down, I know your soul is still the same, Vegeta. You're dead! Get ready to see my real strength. Let's take care of this boo first. You wouldn't give me your best in this fight if you were too distracted. Vegeta! Oh, 
right, Majin Buu? Kill this guy first. Right now! Who here you first time? Come on, big guy! Why is somebody as strong as you taking orders from a shrimp like Bobbity? Nobody asked for your opinion. Martin B is my loyal servant, and he obeys my every command if he knows what's good for him. All right, let's go. Send me your energy! It's ready! You are incredible. Let's read it something. See you around. Vegeta already tried the golden hand trick, and look what happened to him. Yeah. Hold on. There's regular old Super Saiyan. Then there's a level beyond Super Saiyan. But further beyond that, all power! Do this already. I'm sorry this took so much longer than the others, but I haven't had as much practice with this one. This is what I call Super Saiyan 3. Dragon Fist! Hopefully that means he found the Dragon Radar and is leaving West City. Goku, I'm sorry, but it's about time we took you back to Otherworld. Right. I understand. What's the matter, Goten? <laughs> Goten, honey, do you want to give your dad a hug before he goes? Aw, oh, was that all? You should have said so, son. Bring it in. Goten, you take good care of your mom for me, okay? Everybody, I'll see you all on the other side. Yeah. 
finally found you! Ve Vegeta! The earring! Give it here! Your strength is truly amazing. You've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. First, I thought it was your loved ones, but it was your blind instinct to protect them that spurred you on, pushed you beyond your limits. And certainly that was planned. But over the years, I realized there was more, something else in the way you approach a battle. I used to fight for the sheer pleasure of it, sparing no one. I killed the dominance to feed my insatiable pride. But you never fight to kill, or even to win, only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. You showed mercy to everyone, as if you knew one day I would possess the tiniest sliver of the soul. And here I am, fighting alongside you. Defy all logic. By some miracle, your compassion has rubbed off on me. Yet I still don't fully understand how you do it. How can a Saiyan fight with such power? And at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger to be blind to the truth for so long. Hang me, Kakarot. You are number one. <laughs> Your strength is truly amazing. 
You've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. At first, I thought it was your loved ones. That it was your blind instinct to protect them that spurred you on, and pushed you beyond your limits. And certainly, that was part of it. But over the years, I realized there was more. There was something else in the way you approach a battle. I used to fight for the sheer pleasure of it, while sparing no one. I killed the donkeys to feed my insatiable pride. I choose to fight to kill, or even to win, only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. You showed mercy to everyone, even me. As if you knew one day I would possess the tiniest sliver of a soul. And here I am, fighting alongside of you. I defy all logic. By some miracle, your compassion has rubbed off on me, yet I still don't fully understand how to do it. How can a Saiyan fight with such power, and at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger that you blind to the truth for so long. Hang in there, Kakarot. You are number one. Focus my power. It's just so hard when he keeps coming at me. I only need a minute. One minute, that's all. Fine. Then I'll make my stand against him for the next minute. And while he's occupied, you power up. Hey, Supreme Kai's and Dende! Do you hear me up there? If you can, then say something, damn it! Vegeta! I think it's about time we let the people of Earth shoulder the burden for once. The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit bomb. But even if I collect a little energy from all the people who were brought back, it still won't be enough to take down Boo. It won't just be a little bit. You'll get every ounce of spirit energy they can spare. <laughs> you really want to use your spirit bomb, Vegeta? Since I got it so I kind of feel like a proud dad. Okay, guys, all set. And you can speak not to just Earth, but the whole universe if you want. That's more like it. Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? I like this new side of you, Vegeta. Nice going. Here we go. People of Earth, give me your energy. We need you. It's ready. Go. You're an incredible warrior, Boo. It was you against the universe. You nearly won. I hope you can come back once more, but good. I want to fight you again, one-on-one, -on -one, without all the loss. 
I'll be right there waiting for you. Only stronger. Later. You mean you can stay now? We can all be together like a real family? You and Gohan and Goten are back and there's no catch? That's right! I can't wait to get to Mount Paozu and have some of your good old home cooking, Chi-Chi. Oh, come on, Chi-Chi, why are you crying? I thought it was good news. 